Hi guys! Hi. <laughs> it's Umit, I'm Nicole, and we're here to talk about foldable phones at Mobile World Congress 2019. Do you guys want to know which is the one to get? Fold and the Mate X. Mm -hmm. These are the two big foldable phones, yeah. and they have two very different approaches to how they do uh, foldable. So the Mate X, uh, the display folds are on the outside, right? And then the Fold has the display on the inside, and then it has a secondary display on the outside. So a tiny, tiny 4.8 inch display, and then the Mate X is large with a 6.3 and a 6.8 inch display, and then the big one around the out, or the, the, big, the big one around the outside when it folds out, eight inches by 7.1. Mm -hmm. So we have these two approaches, right? And everyone is loving the Mate X, whereas I am a very practical girl, and I'm saying, wouldn't it be better not to have your highly scratchable display be folded around the outside of your phone? In the beginning when I saw the, the Galaxy Fold, I thought like a device that folds in is more interesting um, with a display on the other side so you can use it as a phone. But I feel like when I also touched the, uh, the Mate X for yeah. a few seconds at least, yeah. like not very long to be honest, uh, and folded it at least once, um, I thought it it felt cooler, it felt more interesting to me. But could it be that the only reason we think the Mate X is cooler is because it's not hidden behind lots of glass or just in a video? I mean, Samsung hasn't showed us sh shit. <laughs> well, well, yeah. <laughs> like, they showed us a video, they showed us a thing on stage, and then no one's been able to touch it, right? Yeah. So like, like, maybe it's just the fact that we've been able to kind of like get closer to it, see a lot more like photos from our friends and other and other bloggers and other impressions and like just like like we like like we have access to it. I mean, it's difficult. Like it's not just open access, but we do have access to it. Whereas the the Samsung device is some sort of mystery. I mean, the the, the Mate actually like is a working device. The it's software, working. The software is maybe probably like uh, pre-production. Yeah. It had some faults and so on, but. It worked, and it seemed like the implementation, where it's like it is going, is makes sense. Well, like the Samsung Fold is basically like a random prototype that they haven't showed us that much, yeah, right? So, like, fair, yeah. yeah, it's like to be fair, they're just like, here's the phone, here's a video. It's behind seven layers of glass with a really heavy effect here at the show, and we can't really, really see what's happening with it. Like, but Samsung's proposition for the three app multitasking. This isn't, this is, this, this is great. This is great. I mean like, like they also have, I think a strong technology offering. We're not able to, to touch it or see it or have any details about it. So like it just kind of feels hidden. Yeah. I feel like that's why they lost at this conference a little bit. Yeah. Um, especially when I look at the German audience. Um, because the, the Huawei always knows how to flash people. Even like, even if the product is not the best in every angle, they yeah. know how to present it well. And then show, look, we already have it ready and it works. If, and Samsung is like, we're working on five, since five years on it. It's probably the best product that you will get, or it has the best roundup of flagship features as usually all the uh, Samsung. A really have. solid, solid offer, yeah. Exactly, yeah, usually like if you look at the S10, it's like the most flagship you can get when you look at all the features together while yeah. the Huawei, then there's just the cam for the camera and battery, but other features is not that balanced. And I feel like the Samsung might be the better one, but since we didn't see it, we feel like, hey, uh, the, the, the Huawei is better. Like, uh, and that's the, the impression of the crowd. That's where they get to you. Right, like if you look at the Galaxy Fold, right, then and the, and the Mate X, these two phones somehow are dictating the innovation level of the company. <laughs> like how consumers will be like, which company is more innovative? This one or this one based on this random phone that no one will buy, it's really expensive. <laughs> right now it's yeah. Huawei. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing in development to have at least all of them now presented, uh, which, because it kind of lets us See what will come into the what might come into the like in yep. the future, and also makes people talk about phones again. Like people ask me about phones again. Yep. A lot of times yeah. I post the phone, like a picture of it. They are like, ah, oh, it's like another one of those. But if I come with a foldable, they are like, well, let's Ooh. tell me more about 
about it. Uh, Can I have it? Yeah, give me your it. phone, or give me your phone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that will happen probably uh, too. <laughs> yeah, that is that is the thing. And uh, you see that other manufacturers are kind of in a pressure now, right now. They like they um, LG, for example, came with this clamshell. Yeah, solution. yeah. So they, they they had a they had a second case that had another display built into it and this is focused on their like 5G offering yeah. right so like they just said let's have more flexibility on something that we've already done uh, you can buy it if you want if you don't if you don't want to don't buy it but this we're going to give you this double screen larger experience option if you want i'm not sure if that is a long term solution because i i don't really want to buy a second display and attach it and then carry it around a bit but with the foldable it's like there but the only problem with the foldable I see is like the display itself. Uh, I'm not sure how durable it will be. In the it's going to get scratched. Like so, these plastic displays, uh, like that cause the folding, they're plastic, yeah. right? And they're going to become scratched. And the interesting thing about the Mate X is there's a there, there there's a visible bump in it that looks really terrible when the phone is off. But when the phone is on and the display is lit up, you can't see it. But these are the things that are going to wear on a Gen One product. Right, that the display is going to be crap, and who knows how long it's going to last. I mean, it's going to look good for now, and I totally want one, and I can't wait to own it, and they're going to take all of my money, and it's going to happen, but I'm going to know that it's Gen 1, that, that as an early adopter, I've made a sacrifice that mistake. the build, a mistake. <laughs> okay, I made a yeah. mistake, <laughs> a really expensive <laughs> life choice. <laughs> That's a mistake. Yeah. And we're, we're probably going to see pixel degradation on, on that bump. We're probably going to see burnout. We're probably going to see excessive bleeding where, like, the, like where the folding happens. I, I, there's no doubt in my mind that, that the, error, the error rate for where, like, where that hinge is happening, and that's why I'm not convinced that Huawei's done it right by putting it around the outside, a, a, a side of the phone that's going to get impacted, that's going to get scratched, that's not protected. Like at least Samsung's put it on the inside where this delicate piece of plastic right, can like still fold out, right? Yeah. And it won't be rubbed on anything, right? So I, I don't know, like Samsung might have done it better. It's just uh, Huawei emotionally connected with us. What came to my mind <laughs> just now is like, I'm not sure people that buy this expensive phone will probably buy a case for it also for the Samsung too even if it's closed yeah so and Huawei actually also presented the case for its phone so it's like protected uh, at the back at least so I'm not sure if then if a person that buys this puts on the case anyway if that will make it if they're case. like look at my fancy phone yeah. that I really want to show up let me put it into this weird case that kind of looks like I'm carrying a pager yeah. <laughs> like a really long pager <laughs> I mean, so, I, I like, in general, I like plastic displays in, in a way that it's kind of indestructible if, you, if it falls and so on. It's crack proof. But, yeah, but it scratches super easily. Super like, easily. It's like the, with the Z Force, whatever, from, from Moto, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But, but scratch, like, even if you just touch it, you feel like... Yeah, you're like, you're, you're like playing uh, Fruit Ninja, <laughs> and you're like, oh, no, what happened? The Fruit Ninja. <laughs> yeah, so... Let us know in the comments what you think about everything that we said, all of our feelings about just the emotional connection of being able to touch the Mate X uh, is making everyone become a boy, or if maybe, some, maybe I'm right on the hardware logistics of this phone maybe being a more solid construction. <laughs> I mean, you have to also see like what it will be with the battery with 5G. It will probably die. Uh, oh, fast. yeah, I forgot about that. They were stupid enough to put it out on 5G. Yeah, uh. all of the phones, I think. <laughs> the, the, the Samsung and the Huawei is on 5G. Though the Huawei at least has 55 watt charging, which means like a 30 minutes, 80%. True, but yeah. But you probably have to do that like multiple times a day. A few times a day. You'll <laughs> so. need to carry your charger a lot. Let us know in the comments what you guys think about our debate on which one is better, the Fold or the Mate X. I'm Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks. And I'm Emmett from Mobile Geeks.